everyone and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me, Sylvia. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this very easy granny square hat. this video I will be using this Aran weight yarn or worsted weight yarn and I will be using this really light purple and this beautiful pink color for my hat but of course you can use any color you like or prefer so with this yarn I will be using five millimeters hook you will need some clips later on these are super handy i got them off ebay they hold the project really really well because if you use the pins they just won't stay in if you don't have them you can also use the packs you will need a yarn needle a pair of scissors and a tape measure so for today's head, we will create granny squares first and you will need one, two, three and four granny squares for this head. And then we will work on this top part of our head. And once we have squares and the top part, we will sew it together and then we will work on the brim part. First, let's create these granny squares. And you will need four exactly the same. Or if you want, you can of course do every round different color. Just have fun with it. You don't need to have the same colors as me or the same style as me. You can use your imagination and do every round different color it's totally up to you. So first, we are going to start with a magic ring. Hold your yarn and like so. Wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one, on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook. Now go under this one here, like so and pull through the loop you have on your hook like so and this is your magic ring of course you can use your favorite method it's up to you so we have magic ring and chain of one now we are going to chain two more one and two so we will have chain of three all together now into the magic ring you will place two more double crochet so you will have all together three because this chain of three is counting as your first double crochet so let's place two more double crochet so yarn over insert yarn over bring it up three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that's your second double crochet and we need one more and now we have three double crochet because this chain of three is counting as your first double crochet and this is our first cluster now we are going to chain two for the corner one and two next you are going to place three more double crochet inside this magic ring to create second cluster so one two and three chain two for the next corner so we have first corner here and this one will be our second one again place three double crochet inside this magic ring to create our third cluster one two and three chain two now you can close your ring a little bit like this by pulling this yarn end don't close it completely yet 
you still have this little space right in the middle. Now, when you look at your first round, we have done cluster, chain of two for first corner, then cluster, three double crochet, chain of two for the second corner, then we have done cluster, then we chain two again for our third corner, and now we are going to place again three more double crochet inside this magic ring. That will be our third cluster, like so. So we have one corner, second and third one, and we need to chain two, one and two, to finish this round one. And now we have one corner, second, third one. This one is our fourth one. And we will finish this round one simply slip stitching on top of this chain of three. One, two and three into this third one here. You will insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through like so. Make it nice and tight. And this is the end of around one completed. Now pull this yarn and to close it completely like so, so there is no gap. And we have one, two, three, four corners. And this is our round one completed. For round two, we are going to chain three. One, two and three like so and i will be still using the same color now if you want you can change the color here simply just slip stitch and attach a new yarn here and chain three or you can do exactly the same like me so i will do one more round with the same color this one here so i chain three and now i will work into this space here or into this first corner and this chain of three we will include into our last cluster once we go all the way around and you will start every other round like so your second round will be like this your fourth your sixth and so on so the second round you will always start like so chain three so work cluster into this first corner so three double crochet one two and three chain two for the corner and into this same space you will work another three double crochet or one more cluster one two and three like so so this is our first corner completed for this round two and you will work all the corners the same way you will do cluster chain two cluster in each corners so let's do the second corner and i am not chaining between on the sides so work exactly the same in this corner. One, two, and three. One cluster, chain two, and work three more, double crochet. One, two, and three. So this was our first corner here. Now we have second corner here. We will work on the third one. Three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain two, and three double crochet. One, two, and three. And we have done our third corner. Now we need to finish this last corner here. So we will start with three double crochet. One, two, and three. Now we are going to chain two. 
But as I said at the start, we started with this chain of three. So now we will work only two more double crochet. One and two. And we will slip stitch on top of this chain of three right here to include it in our last cluster, like so. Now we have completed this last corner. So we done cluster or three double crochet, chain two, and then we only place two double crochet, and then we slip stitch on top of this starting chain three to complete this last cluster. Now we are going to slip stitch into this next space. Slip stitch, chain one, and we are going to fasten off because we are going to change the color for this light purple. So we chained one here, leave it longer so you can hide it later on and fasten off. And this is our round two completed. Make sure your clusters are not too tight. I'm going to bring my light purple color and I am going to attach it where I slip stitched like so. So I bring it through and do a knot like so. Make sure you leave this end longer so we can hide it later on and it's much easier. Now we are going to insert our hook and yarn over, bring it up and chain three. One, two and three. Now move it slightly like so and into the same place you will place two more double crochet to create our first cluster for this round three. So this is our first cluster completed. Now we have our first corner here. As you can see, that's a corner. So the corners will be always the same. So we have one corner here, one corner here, one corner here, and one corner here. In all those corners, you will always do exactly the same cluster, chain of two cluster. And then on the side, right here, we will have cluster. And then we will have cluster in this space. We will have cluster in this space. And we will have cluster in this space. So this is our round three. Let's work on our first corner here. So into this first corner, work cluster. So it's three double crochet, one, two, and three. Chain two, as we already know, and another cluster. So one, two, and three double crochet, like so. And now we are on the side. Now, as we work on our granny square, you will have more of these spaces on each side. And in those spaces, we will always place a cluster. Now, that's the space on this side here, so we will place cluster, three double crochet, one, two, and three. Turn it this way, so our first corner is done and we are going to work on our second corner. So we will work three double crochet, one, two, and three, chain two, and place another cluster into the same space. One, two, and three. Now, this was our second corner. So we have done this side, this side, and we're working on our third side now. And as you can see, we have space here on this side. So into that space, work a cluster. One, two, and three. 
into the next corner work cluster we already know one two and three chain two and three double crochet again one two and three and again you have this space here place a cluster in that space so one two and three double crochet turn it like so so we have corner 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 and now we need to finish our last corner so we will work cluster one two and three double crochet chain two and one two and three double crochet like so and now to finish we will work on this first side so we will work slip stitch on top of this chain of three to finish this around insert your hook on top of this chain of three and slip stitch like so chain one And we are going to fasten off here because I'm going to change the color again. So this was our third round. And round three is completed. And we need our last round. So now I am going to attach my yarn where I slip stitched. So insert your hook like so. And make a knot make sure you have a longer yarn and so you can hide it later on like so and as you remember for this round two I said we will do every other round the same way so every even round okay so second fourth sixth and so on so first we are going to chain three one two and three and we will work into the next space and again this chain of three is counting as your double crochet but once we go all the way around we will include it in our last cluster to finish this round four so now we are going to leave it on its own like so and we are going to find this next space because we are working on the side if you have noticed the bigger your square gets the more spaces you will have on each side so you will have one and two here so in those spaces you will always work your clusters so chain three now find the next space and work three double crochet one two and three that's your first cluster and we are coming to this first corner and we already know one two and three so our first cluster then chain two and one more cluster into the same space to create our first corner for this round four as you can see here now we are on the side here so we have one space here and one space here so we will work cluster here and cluster here one and into the next space another cluster so we have done first corner here and then on the side we have two more clusters and we are moving towards our second corner here and we already know cluster chain two cluster for each of those corners so i am in the second corner 
I will do cluster. One, two, and three. Chain two. And work second cluster. I am on this side and I have space here and space here. Work cluster in each of those spaces. So one. So I have one, two, and three. Into the next space. Cluster. Because we are still on this side, as you can see. So that was our first side, second and third one. Now we are here in third corner and we already know we are going to do cluster, chain two and cluster into the same space. So we have one more into the same space to complete our third corner. And that's our third corner completed right here. Now we have third side to finish. So we have cluster here and cluster here. And one more on this side. And we have our last corner. So we already know we will do cluster, chain two and cluster in that corner. So chain two and one more cluster. Like so. And now we are here at the start. And remember we chain this chain of three so now into the same space where is the chain of three you will do only two more double crochet like so so one and two and you will slip stitch on top of this chain of three right here to include this chain into your last cluster so one, two, and three. Slip stitch. Oopsie daisy. So on top of this chain of three, like so. And slip stitch. Now slip stitch into the space, like so, and chain one. And our first square is completed. A little bit longer and fast enough so we can hide it later on. So we have completed our square and we have one, two, three, four rounds for each square and you will need four of these. And that's how you work on your square. Now I'm going to give you measurements. So I have each square five inches. In centimeters, it's about 12 and a half centimeters. Next, we are going to prepare this top part of our hat. First, we are going to start with the magic ring. Hold your yarn and like so, wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one, on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook. Go back under this one here, like so, and pull through the loop you had on your hook, like so. And this is your magic ring completed. Next, we are going to chain two more because this first chain is counting as your first one. So one, two, and three. Now, inside this magic ring, we are going to place 11 more double crochet because this chain of three is counting as your first one. So all together, you will have 12 double crochet. So yarn over, insert. That's your second one three, four, five. Continue all the way around 
placing 11 more double crochet so you will have all together 12 once we slip stitch on top of this chain of three so i have if i count this chain of three as well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so we should have 12 double crochet now we will pull this yarn and a little bit to close it like so and we will slip stitch on top of this chain of three one two and on top of this chain of three work your slip stitch like so and this is your round one completed for round two we are going to chain three again and this chain of three will be counting as your first double crochet in each round so now this is your first and in this round we will work two double crochet in each of these stitches all the way around so at the end of this round you should have 24 stitches so this is my first chain of three is counting as my first double crochet so when you pull it a little bit you will see this little gap and into the gap you will work one more double crochet so you have two double crochet into the same place now at your second stitch here into that one you will work two double crochet as well so insert work one double crochet and second one into the third one again work two double crochet like so so in each stitch you will work two double crochet like so and at the end of this round you will have 24 stitches So you have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on. Once you get somewhere here, I show you how to finish this round two. And I am finishing this round two, and I should have one stitch here. So into the last stitch, I will do my last two double crochet. And now, before we slip stitch, we should count if we have 24. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. Always double check. So, once you have 24 stitches, we will slip stitch on top of this chain of three one two and on top of this chain of three slip stitch like so and this is your round two completed around three chain three one two and three for this round three we will work two double crochet in this first space where is this chain of three so we will have two into the next stitch you will have only one stitch into the next stitch you will have two and so on so we will work two one two one two one two one all the way around for this round three and for this round three you should have 12 more stitches because we are we started with 12 so each round we are increasing by 12 and remember this chain of three is counting as your first double crochet to the same place where is your chain of three coming from you will work one more double crochet to have two double crochet into one stitch now find the next stitch which is this one here little bit stretched so that's your second one here into the second one you will work only one double crochet into the next one you will work two one and two 
into the next one you will work only one into the next one you will work two and so on that's how you are going to work all the way around so you will work two one two one two one and so on all the way around and you will have 36 stitches so always count before you close your round so work all the way around and i am finishing this around three and i have done two here so into this very last stitch i will do only one now slip stitch on top of this chain of three one two and three and on top you will slip stitch like so chain three and we completed this round three and we should have 36 stitches each round we will add 12 more stitches so make sure you count your stitches each round round four we already chain three and again into the same place where is your chain of three coming from you will place double crochet because this chain of three is counting as your first you placed one more into the same place now for this round four you will work two double crochet into this first stitch into the second one you will place only one double crochet into the third one you will place only one double crochet and then you will do increase so two double crochet into the same stitch so the pattern for this round four will be two one one two one one two one one so you will have increase and one double crochet into the next two stitches for this around four so we have done two into the next one one double crochet into the next one one double crochet into the next stage i will do increase two double crochet So we already know when I say two double crochet into the same stage, that means increase. So now I will do one double crochet into the next two stitches and then my increase. So two double crochet into the same stitch. And again, one double crochet into the next two stitches and then increase again. Continue like so, two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around. For this around four, at the end of this around four, you should have 48 stitches. And I am finishing this round and I have done my increase and I will do one double crochet into the next two stitches. So now I'm finishing and I will slip stitch on top of this chain of three, one, two, and on top. Slip stitch like so. Now we finish the round four. One, two, three, four. The round four is completed. For round five, which is our last round, we will chain three again. One, two, and three. And we will work increase and one double crochet into the next three stitches and then increase so you will have two one 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 two one 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 two one 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 and so on so again i will show you so where is the chain of three coming from into the same stitch you will work one more double crochet to have your first increase into the next stitch you will work only one double crochet into the next stage you will work only one double crochet and into the next stage you will work only one double crochet like so and again you will do increase which is two double crochet into the same stitch and then you will do one double crochet into the next three stitches so one into the next stitch one and into the next stitch 
one. So that's how we are going to work for this around five all the way around. Two, one, 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 two, one, 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 and so on. And for this around five, you should have 60 stitches. And I am finishing this around five and I have done my increase here and I will have one double crochet in the last three stitches. So one, two, and the third one to finish. You will slip stitch on top of this chain of three, like so, and chain one, because this was our round five and also the last round as the top of our hat. So I chained one, but I am going to leave a long yarn and before I cut the yarn, shorter so i will leave about two or three meters better to leave it longer and then <laughs> cut it so we will leave this long yarn and so we can sew it to our head like so so first yeah this like a headband first so we will sew all these squares together and once we have this, we will sew this on top and then we will concentrate on the brim part. So leave this on the side, just chain one and leave a long yarn and about two or three meters. And then we will come back to it. But first we are going to sew this part and also I would like to give you the measurements for this circle. So my measurement is six inches. Or in centimeters, it's about 15 and a half centimeters. So for this next part, I will be using these clips. Bring your squares like this, so the right side, this is the wrong side, and this is the right side. Now, we will, you can also hide the ends first, and then sew it, it's totally up to you. It's even better when you hide your ends first. So now we are going to make sure, sure all your squares are facing like so. So the finish is on top like this. So when we sew the top of our head, this will be hiding inside so now i have all my blocks with the right side up i'm going to bring my clips and i am going to clip it like this so i will do one clip here and one clip here where are the corners So it will hold these blocks nicely. Like this. So then we'll do this last side like so. So we are basically creating a headband. So if you like the headband, you will just sew these four blocks together and you will be done. You can also do just single crochet on top and single crochet at the bottom to make it look even nicer. So that would be for the headband idea as well. So now let's sew these blocks together. So for my head, I decided to sew these blocks, but of course you can use single crochet, 
you can use slip stitch, you can use zigzag. It's totally up to you. You can use any method you prefer to sew your blocks. So first, I prepared my yarn needle and my yarn to sew the blocks. I decided to open it like this first so you can see much better what I'm doing. So I will show you one and then you will do the rest. So first we are going to take this clip out so it's not in the way and I like to go like this and leave a long yarn end so you can hide it later on. So simply go through the corner on this side and the corner on the other side and make a knot. Now I like to place my finger between the layers. So I will go from the inside like this under the stitch. This needs to go inside later on so we will hide it. And I will go from the inside again to the other side like so. Again, I will go from the inside and from the inside under the stitch. Like so. And moving and make sure that both sides are matching each other. So I have cluster here and cluster here. Then I have space here and space here. So you can use another clip so we won't move too much. So again, I place my finger between and again go from the inside. Now I am in this space. You can go through the like this and to the other side again from the inside again from the inside take this out of the way take this out of the way and make sure again the clusters are matching So I am finishing here, here are my corners. And now where is the corner? So I have corner here and corner here and you will simply just go through like this and make a knot like so and leave it longer so you can hide it later on so that's how I sew the blocks together but as I said you can work your single crochet or you can do zigzag or you can do slip stitch it's totally up to you so I showed you this one side so I showed you this one seam and you will do one two and then once you do this two you will simply work your last one so you will have like a headband one two work all these three seams and for each seam to sew this seam I used about 70 centimeters long yarn also once you sew your seam it's a good idea to go to the wrong side and simply just hide this end straight away so you don't have to do it later on I forgot to show you this with the first seam so you simply just go inside that seam and hide it straight away so you will have less ends later on to hide so as you can see 
I have done the second seam and my end is already in so I can just cut it and it's done so that's my first seam here second and I will have to do this third one and then once I have these three completed I will do this last fourth one and as you saw always check if your sides are matching or your clusters so I have done all one two three and four seams and this is my right side as you can see now I have super cool headband as well so if you want you just do single crochet in every stitch around at the top and at the bottom and you will have amazing headband but we are making head today so we will continue working on our head so for the next part we are going to bring our top part we created so we chain here and we left a long yarn end and we are going to pull it through like this that long yarn end to fasten off like this next we are going to bring these clips again so next we are going to make sure our headband for now is the right side up and also the top of our head this large circle is the right side up now we are going to clip it like this all the way around simply just go all the way around like this and it should sit perfectly if you have the same measurements as me so it should be exactly the measurement like this and on the other side if you need to stretch it a little bit this top part don't be afraid to do so like so and we should have something like this if you need to stretch this top part a little bit don't worry you can do so but it should sit nicely as you can see it sits perfectly so we have top of our head clipped and now we are going to sew it and again i decided to sew it the same way as i done the seams but of course you can do single crochet or slip stitch all the way around So this long yarn and is about two meters long so let's sew it so i will start here take the clips out as you go so start from the inside and go under this v so that's your stitch that's a long yarn end but it's always better to have it longer than shorter and again go under like so under those v's and sew it like so i like to hold the finger between those layers so you can see much better what you're doing so go from the inside and these clips are super cheap on ebay i got about 100 for five pounds 
and they are just amazing for crochet projects as the pins won't stay in but these clips will hold your blocks and the parts together very well so so we like this all the way around So I went all the way around and I am here at the start and I am going to go through like this and I will turn it to the wrong side. As you can tell, this is my messy side. <laughs> and I will go through like this because I want to fasten off on the wrong side of my head like this so i will simply just do a knot like so and finishing so now i am on the wrong side and i am going to hide this straight away so I don't have to do it later on and fasten off like this and this is our seam completed so the top of our head now you have a short head so you can stop here do single crochet all the way around you can do single crochet all the way around for maybe two or three rounds it's up to you and you have a beautiful simple head but we want to make this head very unique so we will do something different so once we have the top the middle now we are ready to work on our brim to start our brim we are going to make sure the head is at the right side up now you are going to find any corner inside your hook and attach your yarn of course if you want you can work on your brim with a different color as well so we attach the yarn once you have your yarn attached we are going to insert the hook and chain one like so now we are going to work single crochet in every stitch so on top of those double crochet you will have those v's and you will work one single crochet on top of each of those double crochet and this first chain of one is counting as our first single crochet so we are going to place a stitch marker so we know where is our start and now find the next V on top of the next double crochet like so and place single crochet like this now as we didn't chain between the clusters we won't be placing single crochet there we simply find the next double crochet and work single crochet on top of it like this so you will work one single crochet in every stitch around like so and once you come to your corner in that corner you will place two single crochet for this loose fit for tight fit you will work only one single crochet in each of those corners now skip the seam do not work in the middle find the next corner and place one single crochet or two it's totally up to you so you will simply work one single crochet on top of each of those double crochet and once you come to those corners you will place one single crochet for tighter fit or two single crochet for loose fit and 
and we are nearly at the end and as you can see I have this last corner here and again I am going to place two single crochet but you can place one as well so now where is my stitch marker I am going to remove it and I will simply slip stitch to close this round of single crochet like so so we have done one round of single crochet all the way around now for the first round of our brim we are going to chain three and this chain of three is counting as our first double crochet now in each stitch you will place five double crochet but because this chain of three is counting as my first one into the same place i will only place four more to have altogether five double crochet because the chain of three is counting as my first one and now in each stitch i will simply place five double crochet all the way around like so and we will create this beautiful ruffle all the way around now i am placing five double crochet all the way around but if you don't want your brim to be too wavy you can place three or two it's totally up to you but because i want this ruffle to be super wavy i will be placing five double crochet in each stitch all the way around Once you go all the way around, I show you how to finish this round. So I am finishing here and I will place my last five double crochet into this very last stitch. So I have one, two, three, four, and the last one, fifth one. And I am going to slip stitch on top of this chain of three. One, two and three and on top of the chain simply work your slip stitch like so and this was our first round of our brim where i was placing five double crochet in each stitch around now you can place three you can place two it's totally up to you the more double crochet you place in each stitch the more wavy it will get so if you don't want it that wavy you simply place less stitches in every stitch around and if you want you can stop here and you will be done with your bucket hat but as we want this hat to be super unique i will add the second round and for the second round of our brim you will simply do very very easy thing you will simply place one double crochet in each stitch around so first we are going to chain three and this chain of three is counting as your first double crochet for this round two of our brim so this round two will be simply a round repeat and you can do this round as many times as you like maybe you want three rounds maybe you want four rounds it's totally up to you so for this round two you will simply place one double crochet in each stitch around for summer bucket head i would do maybe three or four and that would look really really amazing but the summer bucket head i will do in summer so for now on i will do only two rounds for this bucket head so simply continue placing one double crochet in every stitch around once you come to your last one i show you what to do next And I am finishing here and I will simply slip stitch on top of this chain of three to close this round two of my brim. So one, two, three on top of this chain of three. Simply work your slip stitch. Now chain one. And if you don't want to do this round three, which is optional, you will simply just do these two rounds and you will be done 
or as I said before, you can repeat this round two for as many rounds as you like. And you would be done with your bucket hat. But as I want my bucket head to be really unique, I will add one more round, which is optional. But for this round three, you will have three options. You can work single crochet in every stitch around like so. Or the second option, you can work slip stitch in every stitch around like this. But for my bucket head, I decided to go with crab stitch. So I will be using crab stitch to finish my bucket head. So let me just go back, slip stitch again, chain one, and now we'll be working on crab stitch. Crab stitch is very beautiful stitch and it's single crochet reversed. So we are going to work backwards that way. So find the stitch like so, go backwards, yarn over, bring it up and pull up that loop a little bit and finish your single crochet. Again, find the next stitch, but remember we working backwards. Insert your hook, yarn over and bring it up and finish your single crochet like so. So we will be working single crochet backwards all the way around like this. Make sure your loop is little bit stretched to create this beautiful crab stitch to finish our bucket head. See Daisy, let's try again like so. So continue working like this, single crochet, crab stitch in every stitch. And once you go all the way around, I show you how to finish it. And I'm finishing here and I have last stitch here. So I will do my last crab stitch. And now, where is my very first crab stitch? I will work crab stitch again like this. Now, I will turn my work like this and find the next stitch and work slip stitch to finish our bucket head. Chain one and fasten off. Now check for the stitches and cut the yarn, leave the yarn and longer so you can hide it later on and fasten off. And that's it. This is our crab stitch completed for this round three of our brim. Now, don't forget, you will have to hide all your ends on the wrong side of your bucket head. And this is it. This is our beautiful bucket head. Of course, you can fold this ruffle the way you like or prefer. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like it, share it. And of course, don't forget to find me on social medias. I am on Facebook, Pinterest. Instagram and TikTok. Thank you very much for watching.